Hello everyone, welcome to the new video tutorial of BioNTech. Today we will be going into the class sessions of uh, the entrance coaching because we have received frequent requests on, uh, to begin the classes. So we will be moving into the classes. In the last session we have dealt about the CUCT syllabus and we know that we have to focus on other uh, syllabuses of other universities like BHU, Delhi University, Hyderabad Central University etc. We will be dealing with that and these classes and syllabus discussion of other subjects like physics, chemistry etc. will be coming very soon. So wait for that. So th those who are new to this channel subscribe to it and enable the bell icon to get daily notification. So without wasting time let's get on with the video. Now as we have discussed the CUC syllabus we know that instrumentation or techniques is a very very important part because all the life departments with life science the common topic for them is instrumentation so under instrumentation we are focusing on that first we have got eight topics majorly eight topics we uh, there's further subtopics in it we will be discussing that also but at first at briefly we have to discuss is eight topics in major the first one is microscopy that is uh, the study of microscope uh, the different types of microscope its history its uses how it was developed etc should be learned in the session and the next one is PCR, that is polymerized chain reaction developed by Cady Mullis. We have to discuss the various steps, the procedure, the principle, etc. And the third one is blotting, that is the transfer of DNA into nitrocellulose paper. Not only DNA, we have to deal other uh, things like uh, western blotting, northern blotting, that is which is related to protein and uh, RNA, etc. And the fourth one, that is electrophoresis, that means we have to uh, learn the technique how DNA is separated. Uh, we have got only a brief, vague idea about electrophoresis. We have to go in depth to this latest topic. And the next one is pH meter. We have to discuss only a brief account of what is pH meter and the entrance point related to it. It's a very minor topic. And the sixth one is radioisotope technique. Those who are new to this topic, it is nothing but the use of radioisotopes in uh, determining the biological pathway. That, that we have to discuss that in this topic. And the seventh one is centrifugation, which is really, really important. We have to discuss the various types of centrifugation, the, its principle, its equations, its uh, physical, uh, its physics, etc. And the final one is chromatography. That is, uh, we, have, we have got chromatography in this one. We have to discuss various types of chromatography, the chromatography chamber, its physics, chemistry, etc. So that is the uh, eight topics that we have got to discuss instrumentation in uh, related to the entrance value. So now let's we'll be focusing on centrifugation today because that's a very really important one and we'll be coming into other topics very soon. Now coming on to centrifugation. The centrifugation is a technique used to separate the particles in a solution. So we have to separate the molecules or compounds which is suspended in a solution. We use the technique centrifugation. So it is related to purification, isolation, separation, etc. Now the concept of centrifugation was first introduced by Antonin Prandtl and the first practical model was introduced by his brother Alexander Prandtl. Now uh, we know that the speed of the, uh, the rotation, the speed of a centrifugation is expressed in RPM that is revolution per minute. Now according to the speed, centrifugation is divided into two types. That is first one is ordinary centrifuge that, that has a speed of 30,000 RPM and the next one is ultra centrifuge which has its speed equal to or greater than 60,000 RPM. Now this ordinary centrifuge is a common one which we see in our school labs and college labs and all. Uh, but in labs, highly sophisticated labs in biotechnology etc. ultra centrifuge is used. Now the coming on to the principle and that is a structure and its components. Uh, in simple way a centrifugation has a motor uh, which helps in rotation uh, which is connected to a rotor uh, which also the motor and rotor rotate in the same speed. And the rotor has a sample holder which contains the sample and the sample is uh, is rotated with the help of rotor. Now it has got a container which uh, protects the entire system. This is the actual structure and all. So this is what we have to call about as uh, centrifuge in a simple way. Now coming on to the terms related to centrifugation, the spinning of the centrifuge causes a force on the particles which is known as centrifugal force. Now the centrifugal force causes the movement of particles that is the particles suspended in the solution moves down due to the gravitational pull. Now that movement of particles is known as sedimentation and the rate at which the particles move is known as the sedimentation rate. Now the sedimentation rate is due to cause is caused by gravitation. Now as I have mentioned before the speed of rotation is uh, is termed as revolution per minute. The speed is expressed in revolution per minute that is RPM. Now the next one is that sedimentation rate that is the movement of rate of movement of particles in the solution is expressed express as sedimentation rate and it affects 
it is uh, it is affected by a few factors the first one is density of the particles how dense is the particles if it is denser uh, particles sediment first the size of the particles if the size of the particles is very high it, it sediments first now the third one is viscosity of medium high viscous solution there is a time uh, the time consumed is more for sedimentation the last one is gravitational pull if gravitational pull is more it causes sedimentation of the particles so these are the four factors which affects the sedimentation rate as i have mentioned before the centrifugal force that is expressed as omega square into r omega is the angular velocity and the r is the radius so the radius is this uh, the measurement of the rotor that is this part, portion this much portion is a radius so if radius increases centrifugal force also increases now the rotation speed also increases square times centrifugal force increases so that is what about centrifugal force now this omega that is the angular velocity equation is 2 pi into rpm by 60 rotation per second now the rcf that is a relative centrifugal field is the actual uh, acceleration for acceleration for uh, experienced by the particles inside the solution so that is mentioned as rcf and the equation is 4 pi square into rpm square into r that is the radius divided by 3600 that is the seconds we have converting the seconds so 16 to 60 3600 into 980 that is 980 is the gravitational constant in dynes g units so once more omega is equal to 2 pi into rpm divided by 60 rotation per second and rcf is equal to 4 pi square uh, into rpm square divided by 3 uh, into r divided by 3600 into 980 g units so that is what about we have to learn about uh, briefly about equations present in this uh, related to centrifugation now based on the nature of rotor the centrifuge is divided into two that is swinging bucket type and the angle type now in the angle type we will discuss first the uh, rotor and the sample holder is in a fixed angle position that is it is uh, fixed when it is rotating high speed the position of the sample holder does not change now this is what the angle type is and the angle type is commonly seen in a chemistry lab and on biology lab and all but whereas in the case of swinging bucket type it the sample holders first will be in a vertical position but when it is rotating at high speed the sample holders moves from the vertical position to horizontal position now this picture here is the swinging bucket type now based on the purpose of centrifuge is divided too broadly that is preparatory centrifuge and analytical centrifuge the preparatory centrifuge is commonly used for isolation uh, purification of compounds and all that is what we commonly see in the chemistry lab but whereas in the analytical uh, one that is the analytical centrifuge is used for analyzing chemical compounds that are present in a solution so that is a two one but uh, we have to focus on preparatory centrifuge more because it is syllabus was very important Preparatory centrifuge is again divided into density gradient and uh, differential one. So differential centrifugation is uh, it separates particle based on molecular weight. But whereas in density gradient, the particles are separated based upon the density difference. But they may have the same size, but density may be different. So that property is used for separating the compounds. Now, uh, so that's all we'll discuss in this session. The second part of centrifugation will be uploaded very soon. Wait for that. And those who haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it and enable the bell icon to get daily notification. So wait till the next video. Thank you.